All right, so I've been waiting to do this for, for a while now, and I need to do this because I've got four boxes of magazines, annuals, and all that wonderful stuff that a subscriber gifted me, saying basically, I don't have any room for this. I was thinking about selling it, giving it up, taking it to, to, to Goodwill, whatever. But I thought I'd give it to you and see what you can go through. So I'm going to go through those video now. Uh, and, and we will see what kind of gems and, and wonders await us. Now, I don't expect huge amounts of subscribers to watch views in general. But for those of you who enjoy going through collections and all that, this could be a fun little video. So, we'll go to box one. So, I'm starting with the box that I opened. And Yvonne slapped my hands and said, no. Don't you dare open up boxes and start going through it. Now, I suspect there'll be a lot of Canuck stuff, but this is where I went, oh, hey. So, Capitals 8081 yearbook. Look at that. You got the full schedule, October through March. So, their first game was uh, October 10th, and the season ended for them on March 29th. Abe Pollins, chairman. It's got everything in here. This is great. Gary Green as coach. So there's there's Gary Green, of course became an analyst on on TSN after that Capitals roster. Wow, this is Pierre Bouchard. <laughs> That's just this is great. That's oh man, Guy Sharon, Glenn Curry, Rick Green, Bent Gustafson. This is after Ben Gustafson's first year, and they've all they've all got autographs in there too. So Adam, eat your heart out. And then there's this. Programs used to cost money. They didn't just hand them out when you went in the door. So this is from the the Vancouver Canucks training camp, 1980. This is the training camp directory. There's a there's a good picture. See, that's that's fantastic. And then one thing too with these is that then I have stuff that I can use for thumbnails later. There's a steamer. That's fun. Stan Smeal. Rick Lands. Oh, look at this. Dallas Blackhawks and the Houston Apollos. Nice. That's that's interesting. That's really, really interesting. Doug Keens was on the Houston Apollos. Oh, that's really fun. There's Tiger Williams. Ivan Boldarev. They got the personnel in here. And there's the schedule, which started October 10th and ran through April 4th. Canucks record against other clubs. Atlanta, they were 0-2 on the road, and, or 0-2 at home and 2-0 away. So, And they didn't win a single game in four meetings against the Boston Bruins. So this shows that... Every team they played four times, and it shows their record, and goals scored and goals allowed. Nice. Victoria fans can see any Canuck games by obtaining tickets the following way. Two weeks before each game go on sale, all Vancouver ticket center outlets, including Eaton's and Hillside's Shopping Center. Uh, wow. Eaton's. Uh, fill out the order form below with your certified check or money order. We have to limit the number of orders. Uh, at thirteen dollars for rows one through nineteen and twenty through twenty-four. Thirteen dollars for row one. Thirteen bucks for a ticket. Eight dollars for rows thirty-four through forty-five. Limited selection of thirteen dollar seats. So ticket prices range from eight dollars to thirteen. That is, of course, uh, back in this is seventy-nine eighty, I believe. Yeah, tra training camp in eighty, so that's eighty eighty-one. It's the year before they went to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time. Here's an 80-81 yearbook for the New York Rangers. Again. Oh, there you go. Tim Bothwell. And again, they've got all these cool little like facsimiles of the signatures. That is really cool. There's there's John Davidson. So Ranger fans, there you go. There's John Davidson. Oh man. And these are in these are in basically pristine condition. Like these are in really, really nice condition. So uh, yeah, Minnesota North Stars, 79.80. For anybody asking, well, could I make an offer to Shannon to get that? No. How much could I offer Shannon to get? No. 
I, I generally don't sell items I know I could never replace. Uh, 7980 official yearbook of the Vancouver Canucks. Drink it in, boys and girls. There's there's Glenn Hanlon on the front. Man. 82-83 yearbook of the Canucks. This features the, the, um, the trophy they won for winning the West right there. Uh, the Clarence Campbell trophy. Go Canucks go. And there's the towel waving too. Oh, that's really cool. There's Garth Butcher, Mark Crawford, Ivan Holinka, Darcy Rhoda. In the system. Stu Kulak. Wow. That's... Huh. Try not to smile too much when I'm going through this. This is one box, too. 88-89 official yearbook. And this one's five bucks. This is when you're getting up into the, the big money. It's Brian Bradley, Garth Butcher, Paul Lawless. I forgot Paul Lawless played in Vancouver. Jim Sandlack, or as we called him, House. Tony Tanney. Andy Gribble. That's a great name. Peter Bakovic. Jim Agnew. Ah, Robert Nordmark. I remember Nordmark. He used to drive us insane. Acquired from St. Louis with St. Louis second round draft choice in 1990 in exchange for Dave Richter. What is it, Bear? What's out there? Uh, 92. There's Vancouver Canucks Beret. Smite the Vision Champions. So preseason guide for that. The 87-88 Vancouver Canucks official yearbook. Wow. Brian Burke's in the middle. That's Brian Burke in the middle right there. That is, that is insane. Bob McCammon, Brian Burke, Pat Quinn. Wow, that's fantastic. The Canucks official 8081 yearbook right here. Official yearbook of the Canucks 8182. And there's Mike Palmatier's fantastic mask right there on the front. All right, wow, that's huh. Okay. So that's that's treasures, treasures and more treasures. This is football. Lions 1983 calendar. So BC Lions 1983. They won it in 85, I think. Head coach Don Matthews. Yeah, he was a good coach. That was back when I followed the Lions. That was back when I actually followed CFL. And I was kind of a CFL fan at that time. Oh, wow. That's, I believe that's Kevin McCarthy. That's the Kings. BC TV. Oh, it's a calendar. Oh, man. Wicked. All right. Well, that's Tiger Williams and Stan Smeal right there. Yeah. Shoppers Drug Mart official Canuck team calendar. Team picture. Wow. Glenn Hanlon, and I'm going to guess that's Gary Bromley, who's the other goaltender, because they didn't have uh, Richard Berdur yet. Let's take a look and see if I'm right. Gary Bromley. Yeah, there you go. So why do people say, all right, I don't know if Shan is really a Canuck fan. Yeah, of course I am. What? Wait, this is a Canuck calendar. Why is Guy Lafleur prominently featured? That's how bad things were. Quick, get a picture of Lafleur in there. He wasn't. He's not on our team. Yeah, well, we got to get him on there. So, and there's Gary Bromley. Bromley only wore that Halloween mask uh, once. That's the one he's known for. Is the one with the the bones uh, on the front. But that's oh, there's a second one. Oh, okay. All right. So I've got two of the same calendar. So that's the Shoppers Drug Mart calendar as well. And I knew there would be duplicates in here. Because he told me that when he gave it to me. Okay, nobody, none of you cats sit on this. Please, thank you. Now this, also, duplicate. But, as you get down, this is the 8182 calendar. And that's, uh, I believe that's King Richard in the middle there. So again, it should be... Yeah. So there's Richard Berder. Now when you look at those Canuck jerseys, you can see how shiny those are. Those were vinyls. The jerseys we get now are not the ones they wore back then. They were they were basically stickers. Those flying V's were stickers, and they looked. This this is why if you get a jersey from back then, it looks like a fake. I I have one, uh, which has the the um, 
the vinyl. It looks absolutely awful. The jacket, though, that I want that jacket. That's that's the jacket that I want. That'd be fantastic. Darcy wrote on the back. He knows what's going on. All right, let's see if they've got uh, Gila Fleur prominently featured in this one. No, but they got Leafs featured in this one. So, probably having an argument with Kevin McCarthy about which team's got worse worse luck. So there you go. The calendars were a lot um, a lot simpler back then. That's the 81, 82 calendar as well. Oh my God. Okay, that that I don't. I what what do you do with this? What how do What? First, wear this mask tonight when the when Chuck drops the puck to open the 87-88 Canucks season. Then listen to listen to CKNW 98, the voice of Vancouver Canucks, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If the number series from your mask is called, call CKNW and you could be the winner of Foremost Foods gift certificates. There are 25 chances to win. Be sure you're listening to CKNW 98 for the series, series number. 25 cents off Foremost uh, fine dairy foods offer expires December 31st 1987 <laughs> so <laughs> if if I wear this to a game no I'm just gonna say right now my answer is no because there's subscribers out there right now going hey Shannon you could poke the eyes out and you could wear that you could go to a game wearing that I could. It's not going to happen, but I could. I... Wow, that's... There's going to be somebody watching this that goes, oh, I remember that. I, I don't. Team calendar from 85-86. So looking a little bit more modern. And each month gets its own. So there you go. And there's Berder in net. Dino Cicerelli in front of the net. Flames there. And there's the team. So this is when they went to the, the skate jersey from the Flying V. And then we've got... Uh, oh! December 17th, 2008. 32 pages of, of Trevor Linden and Trevor Linden poster inside. This is from the province. That's one of those collector's items. I do have a bunch of those, those collector-style items that are in boxes. Uh, 8485 Canuck calendar. <laughs> Oh my god, I had this one. I had this one. <laughs> I had this when I was a kid. Because it's John Garrett's mask on the front. And Garrett was my favorite goalie at the time. I know. I know. Yeah, I had this. Wow. I am stunned. I had this. Eighty-two, eighty-three Canucks calendar. I didn't have this one. This one, uh, this one would feature... Yeah, it's still flying V. But it would appear that this was when they changed it from 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 the uh, the decals. Like it's just it's basically sticker material, and they changed it so it was it was fabric, the same as the ones you get from the team store now. So apparently, at some point, somebody said, "Okay, we we've, we've got to change that because this this on the ice looked absolutely insane. The shine was just ridiculous. The shine off that red one is just ridiculous." It was on the sleeves too. There's Linden. Oh, that's that's actually or not Linden. Uh, Smeal. That's actually pretty cool because that's Mike Leute right there in net. Oh man. I mean, it's not 1982 right now, but it could be, right? We we could go back. <laughs> Look, with the way this year's going, we could we could end up going back. We could have, we could experience the same years again. Not 2020. Not going to happen. 91, 92 Canucks. So I like this. They've got. Uh, that is Sandlack, isn't it? No, it's Linden. Yeah, 16. So that's Linden, Momesso, and they're both showing how short Cliff Ronning is. And you wonder why Cliff Ronning's my favorite Canuck? That picture right there will show you. He's right there. I, it's just I'm surprised it's not him with uh, with Sandlack. So there's the the Canucks team picture, and down front and center is Trevor Linden. We're in the sea. Uh, and then this is kind of cool that the, the calendar shows you who they're playing on those days so look at this they played the flames three times in eight days and people complain oh i'm tired of seeing the same team all the time 
Yeah, it's got to be rough when you got a league of 31 teams. This was a league of 21. 22, because San Jose's in that year. Very fun. And then this here, another interesting thing is, this is Stars. So this would be the Minnesota North Stars, not the Dallas Stars. That hadn't happened yet. Put that up there. This is a du duplicate as well. The duplicates I'm separating off because, you know, I want to keep track of all that. And then this, March 31st, 2000, from full flight to sad sight. Uh, dashing Brian Berard stopped in his tracks by eye injury. Uh, let's see. And then this is all issues of, of the hockey news. This one's from 2003. Al McKinnis right on the front. This one is 2007. There's Phil Kessel in Boston dealing with the scare of his life. That would have been when he was treated for cancer. This is from 2006. Bertuzzi, I think I was the best, and he's bound and determined to get back to the top again. He didn't, but he he, he did his best. Uh, Chelios, Detroit's ageless wonder wants to play till he's 50. Good news, NHL hit injuries are down. Yeah, they're back up, though. And then they have the gambling shocker in here, NHL nightmare. Talk it charged, others implicated, what are the ramifications? So this is all about the gambling scandal. So one th that is one thing, too, that... You know, it, it's something to keep track of. Oh, this has got Future Watch in it as well. 13th, 13th Annual Future Watch Special. It didn't actually show up as its own mag as its own magazine until later. But, you know, one of the reasons I like having these old magazines is because of, of that reality that you have a snapshot into the past and you're able to look back through these and go, oh, right, that, and then you can do a video on it. In my case, you can do a video on it. Best and worst of 2006. Defining moments. This is all really cool. Power and influence. So this is all from 2000s. And then you get further down. Oh, man. Okay, I'll pull this one out really carefully. New North Stars. Dave Maloney dedicated to leading Rangers. That's that's insane. This is from 1979. This is before I started following hockey, and it is it is in really good shape. Flyers longing to regain image. That's still a thing. Championship Pete's striving to keep up image. Apparently they were they were broken when it came to finding a word other than image for its for their headlines. Wow. That is insane. That is awesome. Defense name of the game as North Stars soar. Bobby Smith of Minnesota got off to a fast start with three goals and three assists in three games. Huh. Buffalo newcomers, fast starters. Well, yeah, John Van Boxmeer was just glad to be out of Colorado. Power play becoming priority for Bruins. Wayne Cashman will serve as the mucker on Boston's new power play setup. All right. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So that's box number one. There's four boxes. Uh, that's pretty awesome. So uh, I'll, I'll close this off here. And I'll go through the other boxes, which are in here, which will not make Pixel happy. She's not happy about the idea of not having her spot. Because once I'm done with the boxes, I'll you know redistribute these and, and find a place for them. But uh, th this is in pristine condition. Uh, so, so thank you very much to the subscriber who, who gifted this to my, my collection and, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty amazing overall haul on this and yeah, that's pretty awesome. So there you go. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your, 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 uh, support over the last four years now, uh, channel reached 146,000 subscribers last night. And that is thanks to each and every one of you. And, uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for all that, and I look forward to going through the other boxes as well. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. 
I will talk to you again soon. And yeah, I have the greatest subscribers on planet Earth. This just is further proof of that.